The KO Perigo Heist is out, and after finishing it once, I can say that it is extremely fun. This is by far, in my opinion, the most fun heist in the game. But when I was live streaming it, I noticed a lot of people didn't actually know how to start the heist up. So we're going to make a quick video explaining how to start it up. It's pretty simple, so if this video helps you out, a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. Consider subscribing for more stuff like this, and let's go. So step one is to go to the back of the casino. This part of the casino has been under construction for about a month now. And what was being built there was a music locker, which is sort of going to be a social space, a public area in GTA Online that everyone can go to. Sort of like a second nightclub, just without the business aspect to it. Once you go in here, you're going to need to go downstairs and talk to Miguel Madrazo. So this is the son of Martin Madrazo, one of the most important characters in GTA 5 and GTA Online. And he's going to set you up and tell you what you need to do in order to start this heist up. So that's the first step. Go talk to Miguel. And then you're going to need to spend a bit of money. So you're going to get a phone call from Naval, and Naval is essentially the captain of the submarine that you're going to need to buy. Yes, you are going to need to buy the new submarine if you want to start up the KO Perigo heist, but it's only going to cost you $2.2 million. Now, I know for some people, you'd be like, okay, that's, that's not that bad, and other people, you're going to be like, well, that is a ton of money. I don't have that much money. But compared to what a lot of people were expecting, like you would be able to get this at $4 million minimum, that's what a lot of people thought. But this is a pretty good price. So head into Warstock Cash and Carry and buy the Kasatka. That's the name of the big submarine. Now you can spend money customizing it if you want. There are some cool upgrades like changing the color of it, of course, getting a guided missile, getting other vehicles that you can use from the back of the submarine, which makes it pretty convenient. But if you do choose to spend your money on upgrading everything, the most money you can spend on the submarine is over $9 million. So a fully kitted submarine is over $9 million, whereas a base one which will do the job is just $2.2 million. So just do that. Buy the base one for $2.2 million if you don't have much money. And then what you're going to want to do is go into your interaction menu. So to open that up, press M on PC, hold the touchpad on PS4 or PS5. And it's the back button or the options button on Xbox. I'm sorry. I don't know that it's the one on the top left. Okay, that button. Once you're in there, go down to services, click on Kosatka and click request Kosatka. Then your sub is going to pop up on your minimap. So just fly over there or catch a boat out there, whatever you want to do. And as you get close to it, it's going to pop out of the water, which I think looks really cool. I was shocked the first time that happened. That was, it was so cool. Head inside and you're going to get a cutscene, and then you're going to go to the airport and fly over to KO Perico. Now this whole sequence is sort of going to take a while, maybe like an hour, but essentially you're going to go out to the island, go through some cutscenes, and then you're sort of going to be able to roam the island a bit and do some searching. You're going to have some tasks to do, but make no mistake, this is really just a glorified scope out mission. This is the mission where you're going to be finding the extra vaults. You're going to be hacking into cameras and seeing what sort of loot you can get and how you're going to get inside the big compound. Of course, I'm making this on the day the heist came out, so no one really knows the best strategies yet. So when we find out, I'll let you know in a video. But if you're just looking to smash this out, just you can rush through it if you really want. Maybe scope out some of the optional loot items that you can get. And then you're going to want to go back to Los Santos. Shortly after you land back, you get another phone call from Naval, and then you're going to want to go back out to the submarine again. Head inside, you're going to get the cutscene, but you want to go to the middle control room in your Kasatka. Go to the big console in the middle of the room and start up the heist. Now, this looks a lot different to the Diamond Casino setup board, but the concept is pretty much the same. Like, it's the same sort of thing, it just looks different. So you're going to have to choose an approach vehicle and then do the setups for those vehicles. You're going to have to source your equipment, source your weapons, and then you've got three optional disruption setups. So those are basically like what Duggan Shipments was in the Casino Heist. You can do an armor setup mission where you're going to reduce the amount of armor the enemies have. You can do a weapon setup where you reduce the amount of weapons they have. And then you can do an air support setup where you can remove the enemy's air support, which makes the heist a lot easier if you get detected, of course. So there you go. I'm probably going a bit too in depth. This isn't a heist guide. We'll make one of those over the next few days. So hopefully that gets you started on the KO Perigo heist. I know a lot of people were confused because GTA doesn't really explain things too well a lot of the time. So if you enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. Consider subscribing for more stuff like this and I'll see you in the next video. Poise.
provided for my 